If you fell in love with Rob in the moment she was introduced in Stranger Things, you are among the millions of people who can't get enough of her. Other than her remarkable performance, there are other very interesting things you should know about Maya Hawk. Wait, did we hear a couple alert? That's right, Maya Hawk may be taken, and we'll be talking all about that and other things. Make sure you subscribe to Riveted to keep up with all your favorite celebrities. Famous Bloodline Maya Hawk is not one of the stars who was brought up in a normal neighborhood with normal parents. As you may be aware, Maya has very rich parents in Hollywood. She's also aware that she's had a massive leg up because of who her parents are. Maya Hawk's famous father, Ethan Hawk, is best known for movies such as 1994's Reality Bites, 2001's Training Day, and 2014's Boyhood, and he was nominated for Academy Awards for the latter two. Uma Thurman, her mom, and Ethan Hawke met as co-stars on 1997's Gattaca, tied the knot on May 1, 1998, and welcomed Maya a couple of months later on July 8th. They also had a son together, Levon, in January 2002 before divorcing. Her parents finalized their divorce in 2005. As cheating rumors about her dad, who went on to marry former family nanny, Ryan Shahus swirled. When Maya sat down with the Sydney Morning Herald in 2017, the up-and-coming actress revealed that she spent her childhood going between her mom's place in Manhattan and her dad's pad in Brooklyn. Maya also has three half-sisters called Clementine Hawk, Indiana Hawk, and Luna Thurman Bussin. On her father's side, Maya is a great-great-grandniece of playwright Tennessee Williams. On her mother's side, she is a granddaughter of Buddhist scholar Robert A. F. Thurman and model Baroness Nina von Schlebrugge. Acting career when your parents are Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman, people automatically assume that you're also going to become an actor, but their firstborn was initially hesitant to follow in their footsteps. At one point, she considered going to college to study English, but she ultimately decided that nothing could match the thrill she got from acting. Hawke was Sofia Coppola's choice to play the title role of The Little Mermaid in Universal Pictures' planned live-action adaptation. However, the producers preferred the better-known Chloe Grace Moretz. This and other conflicts ultimately led Coppola leaving the project. In 2017, Hawk made her acting debut as Joe March in the BBC miniseries adaptation of Little Women, but her breakout role came through her co-starring performance as Robin Buckley in the third season of Netflix's Stranger Things, which was released in 2019. She was also cast in the indie movie Lady World and picked for a part in Quentin Tarantino's film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, featuring Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, and Margot Robbie, to name a few. Her upcoming movies include Human Capital with Liev Schreiber, Marisa Tomei, and Alex Wolf, and Mainstream with Andrew Garfield. Robin was rewritten for her. Maya was not a Stranger Things fan when the show hit the screens, but her parents were big fans who convinced her to watch the show. By the time she landed a role, she was already a huge fan. When Robin was introduced to Stranger Things, she quickly became a fan favorite. Robin works at Scoops Ahoy and Starcourt Mall with Steve Harrington. At some point in the season, she ends up in the middle of all the drama with Dustin and Lucas's little sister Erica. However, the version of the character that Matt and Ross Duffer created ahead of season 3 wasn't the one we got to see on the screen. Maya Hawk revealed that the sibling showrunners tweaked the character after they got to know her a little better. When she accepted the part, Hawk was told that Robin was a sarcastic and down-to-earth Madonna wannabe that nobody seemed to notice. But Robin slowly morphed into someone closer to Hawk's own personality. Robin starts off as a sarcastic high schooler scooping ice cream, but as the story goes on, we discover she is also quietly loyal, speaks multiple languages, plays in a band, and won't hesitate to spit in the face of bullies. Hawk revealed that she and the Duffers didn't decide that Robin should be a lesbian until they were around halfway through filming the season. How she landed a role in Once Upon a Time Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is one of the best movies in years. It's the director's ninth movie and the first time he's worked with Maya Hawk, but not only the first time they met. In a 2018 interview with Elle, Hawk recalled being on the set of 2003's Kill Bill, one of her mother's most iconic movies. The family relocated to China for six months during that shoot, and Hawk was just four years old at the time. Tarantino has described Uma Thurman as his muse in the past, likening their working relationship to that of Alfred Hitchcock and Ingrid Bergman. So, Maya has known Quentin her entire life, and landing a role on a film he directed wasn't that difficult. Hawk plays a minor character named Flower Child in the filmmaker's 60-set love letter to Los Angeles. Struggling with Dyslexia Although it's easy to identify with the free-spirited Joe from Little Women, Hawk's personal connection to her character ran even deeper. Maya Hawk was diagnosed with dyslexia in the third grade, and she has struggled with it since. She said in an interview that Little Women was one of the first books she read by herself. She was thrilled to audition and land a role on the show. After her dyslexia diagnosis, Maya enrolled in a school specially equipped for her needs. She eventually learned to read and write, but it didn't come easy. Maya went on to attend St. Anne's, an institution in Brooklyn Heights. That focuses on the arts and eventually landed a coveted spot at the world-famous Juilliard School. When Hawk was offered the lead role in Little Women, she had to choose between her dream school and her dream role. She picked the latter. Unfortunately, this meant she could never go back to the school. 
She admitted that her condition is still an obstacle, but that doesn't stop her from achieving her dreams. While most actors are expected to read the script in three to five days before their audition, Maya shared that she typically takes over a week to finish reading a script. Other talents. We may know Maya for her incredible acting skills, but she's also a very talented musician. In August of 2019, Hawk released her first two singles, To Love a Boy and Stay Open. The songs were written and recorded by Hawk and Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter Jessie Harris. She put on her first public performance in 2019, bringing her brand of folksy jazz to New York's Rockwood Music Hall. On March 18, 2020, Hawk released the first single, By Myself, and announced her debut album titled Blush, and the album's second single, Coverage, was released on April 22, 2020. Apart from writing songs and singing, Maya is also a model. Like both her mom and grandmother, Hawk modeled for Vogue at the beginning of her career. She was also chosen as the face of the British fashion retailer All Saints 2016-17 collection. In 2017, she starred as one of the several faces in a video campaign for Calvin Klein's underwear range, directed by Sofia Coppola. Last year, Thurman Hawk scored a coveted invitation to Anna Wintour's exclusive Met Gala, cementing her status as that of a fashion icon. Also, while she's always wanted to be an actor, she wants to try directing in the future. Social media was never her thing. Four years ago, Maya Hawk barely had a social media presence, and that's because she was never a big fan of social media. Maya said that she has always preferred human contact, and she knows how toxic social media can be. However, once she became famous, she couldn't avoid all the social media craze. The actress has become a star on the platform, thanks in no small part to her casting in Stranger Things. In an interview with Vulture, she said, I wasn't aware of how insanely popular the show was. It got announced and I got like 40,000 Instagram followers in like 30 seconds. I didn't expect that to happen. I don't think I'll fully understand what kind of impact it'll have on my life until after it comes out. When season three of Stranger Things dropped on July 4th, 2019, she experienced an even bigger following of over three million people on the gram. Her dad is her greatest cheerleader. Since filming in Atlanta for season four of Stranger Things was suspended back in March, Maya has been spending her time in upstate New York in the houses of both her parents, Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawke. Maya has said in various interviews that her parents are her greatest inspiration, and she loves that they never pushed her to act. However, when she decided to follow in their footsteps, her dad couldn't be prouder. Ethan Hawke told People, It's one of the most amazing moments of my life watching her in Little Women. She didn't do a good job, she did a great job. To see your child thrive and to see her thrive at a profession that you have a lot of respect for, that I've dedicated my life to, I was so proud of her. The four-time Oscar nominee equally praised his daughter's performance in Stranger Things Season 3, taking to Instagram to heap praise on her. Ethan wrote, Ladies and gentlemen, get to know Maya Hawk. She's the real thing. Her mom also posted on Instagram in support of Maya Hawk. Her folks are clearly thrilled that she's making an impact in the industry, but Maya insists that she was never forced into acting. How much is she worth? Well, for what it's worth, her dad, actor Ethan Hawke, is reportedly worth $55 million, and her mom, model and actress Uma Thurman, is worth about $45 million. But the talented daughter is also carving her own path. According to Celebrity Net Worth, she's already netted a fortune worth about $3 million thanks to her modeling and acting career. Having just started filming Stranger Things Season 4 in March 2020 and releasing her debut album just two months later, Maya Hawke is definitely going places. Stranger Things alone is a cash cow. Given that Hawk joined the cast for season three, it's hard to tell how much she is earning, but given the fact that her character was a fan favorite and that she has two Hollywood pros in her corner to help her negotiate her pay, it's likely she was compensated well for her time and talent. Special interests. Maya's favorite books of all time are Harry Potter, Anna Karina, and Housekeeping. She absolutely loves Avatar, The Last Airbender, and always wanted her superpowers to be waterbending. However, her favorite movie of all time is Robert Altman's Nashville and her favorite TV show of all time is Grey's Anatomy. Currently, Maya's favorite singer is Billie Eilish. Her go-to coffee order is an oat milk matcha latte. Maya's favorite Disney movie is Cinderella. Her favorite ice cream flavor is mint chocolate chip, but she likes anything with rainbow sprinkles. Maya would also really love to travel to Japan or South America in the future. Past relationships. Before Robin came out as a lesbian on Stranger Things, everyone seemed to be shipping her and Steve Harrington, played by Joe Keery, even in real life. Even though on-screen Hawk showed great friendship chemistry with co-star Joe, they're not a couple. Curie has been dating actress Micah Monroe since they met on the set of 2018's After Everything. When Maya spoke with the Sydney Morning Herald in 2017, she revealed that she was single. That status changed when she appeared to be dating Gus Wenner, son of Rolling Stone founder Jan Wenner. Couple alert! Seems like the talented star has landed herself a Hollywood bay, and the alleged relationship has been the talk of the town for the last couple of weeks. We are talking about Tom Sturridge. Tom lives in New York, where he co-parents his eight-year-old daughter Marlo with ex-fiancee Sienna Miller, but he has been spotted spending quality time with Maya. She was first linked to Tom Sturridge late last month. 
The duo were seen in the Hamptons on July 21st, where they appeared to be heading toward a local beach. Just before the pair's first public sighting, Sturridge was spotted with ex Sienna Miller and NYC in late June. More recently, the former couple were seen together in the Big Apple on July 28th. However, what has really got people talking is the kiss that took place a few days ago. In photos obtained by the Daily Mail, the two actors were spotted walking arm in arm and sharing a kiss at a local restaurant. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Do you love Maya Hawk? Let us know in the comment section below. This has been Riveted, and we publish amazing videos daily.